Hello, welcome to Sir Henry's class, a channel where we bring learning to your doorsteps. You are welcome to this channel. If this is your first time of watching, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Now, um, this year's BEC is very close, and we'd like to take you through some selected topics that it's likely that Wayek would set questions on. The first topic is angles. Angles. So we've prepared a list of topics with some questions and we'll take you through. The first is angles. So let's look at angles for today. So we are taking some few questions. So it says in the diagram, this line, line AB and line CD. In the diagram, lines AB and CD are parallel. Given that m is to n is equal to 2 is to 7, and find the values of m, a, and n. So this is the diagram given to us. Say so we should find the values of m, a, and n. So to find the values of m, a, and n, let us quickly go through and apply the necessary um, conditions. Now, we can recall that's in angles you have what we call alternate angles and they are equal where you can draw a z shape or a z shape this way and the angles are equal you can also recall that we have what we call corresponding angles that is this m and it's 7a minus 16 the angle that is here also corresponding to this so first we can <coughs> apply corresponding angles apply alternate angles and we also have a ratio here we can also apply it so let us um, give respect to the ratio that is here. So now, the ratio says that m is to n is equal to 2 is to 7. Similarly, we can also say m corresponds to 7a minus 16. m is equal to 7a minus 16 degrees yes all right so now that we are saying m is equal to 7a minus 16 and also m is to n is given by 2 is to 7 we also recall from angles that we have what we call the co-interior angles co-interior angle they add up to 180 so m and n add up to 180 so we'll say cool interior angles are equal so that being the case then m plus n is equal to 180 so wherever we see m plus n is 180 the ratios are given so to find m m corresponds to 2 n corresponds to 7. Good. Now, to find m, to find n, this is what we do. Now, we we'll look at what we call the total ratio. That is, we are going to add the ratios of m and n, and that will give us 9. To find the value of m, we we'll quickly use the ratio for m. The ratio for m is 2 divided by the total ratio 9. Time, what is the sum of m and n? 180 degrees. So 90 will take 180 20 times. We have 2 times 20, that is 40 degrees. So the value of m is 40 degrees. To find n is very simple. We just replace it here. So since m is 40, we have 40 plus 40 plus n because it's m plus n so 40 plus n is equal to 180 so n is given by 180 minus 40 and that is 140 degrees that is not all we are to find the value of a and we said m is equal to 7a minus 16 so m is equal to 7a minus 16 the value of m is 40 equal to 7a minus 16 so to find the value of a we have 7a is equal to 40 plus 16 
and 40 plus 16 is going to give us 56 degrees so to find the value of a we have 56 divided by 7 and that is equal to 8 7 8 56 7 8 56 so that is for the value of m so therefore we say m is equal to 40 n is equal to 140 and a is given by 8 all right let's quickly move to the second question so in the second question it says find the values of the angles marked x and y in the diagram so we have x and y we have to find x and y in this diagram so we can also apply corresponding angles and alternate angle we can capsize this or turn it or rotate it to seem something like the first question good so here this angle provided here is corresponding with this then the angle provided here sorry here h is equal to g the one here all right similarly 5x corresponds to the angle created here 4x plus y corresponds to the x plus 78 degrees so to find the values of x and y we can apply the properties of corresponding angles so we we'll say corresponding angles are equal So if corresponding angles are equal, then this angle will also be 5x. Now, we can also recall that um, angles, adjacent angles on a straight line, sum up to 180 degrees. So we we'll have 5x plus x plus 78 is equal to 180 degrees. And that is what linear pair or adjacent angles on a straight line so the sum of 5x and x will give us 6x plus 78 is equal to 180 so we have 6x equals 180 minus 78 180 minus 78 and that is going to give us um 1 0 2 102 yes 102 so the value of x will be so x is equal to 17 degrees x is equal to 17 degrees and let's quickly find the value of y so how do we find the value of y we can say that 4x plus y is linear pairing with this or it is out um, corresponding to this you can say it's linear pair or corresponding to this so the one that will be much easier let's use the linear pair yes let's use the linear pair so we have 5x plus 4x plus y and that will give us 180 so 5x plus 4x is 9x plus y equals 180 we know the value of x to be 17 plus y equals 180 degrees so y will be equal to 180 minus the product of 9 to 180 minus 153 so 180 minus 153 27 degrees 27 degrees so therefore values of x and y are 17 degrees and 27 degrees all right now 
The third question, we would like you to try your hands on it. So it says, find the value of x in the diagram below. Find the value of x in the diagram below. I would like you to try your hands on this question. You provide the answer in the comment section box. Thank you for watching Sir Henry's class. We have a lot of content for you. Stay tuned and enjoy your day. Bye.